In a world of code and endless bytes, a new form of intelligence ignites. Generative AI, a wondrous creation. A fusion of art and computation. From deep within the neural maze. Emerging patterns, thoughts to amaze. A dance of algorithms takes the stage. An ever-evolving knowledge, engage. The voice that you just heard was generated using Lovo.ai. And the poem was written by none other than ChatGPT. All we did was ask ChatGPT to write a creative poem to introduce generative AI. And then we used Lovo.ai to recite the poem. Both ChatGPT and Lovo are generative AI tools. If this doesn't make you wish to know more about generative AI, then let's have a look at an image. This is an image that we created using generative AI tool called Midjourney. When asked to create an image for Albert Einstein in a deep conversation with a cat in a cafe, this is the image which got created within a few seconds. Exciting, right? I'm sure you are waiting to learn more about generative AI. But before we dive into the sea of generative AI, let's swim back to the show and discuss a little bit about artificial intelligence or AI. We humans possess the ability to think, which is why we are considered intelligent mammals. But when human-like cognitive abilities are displayed by machines, we call it artificial intelligence. AI is a field of computer science that focuses on creating intelligent machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. AI has become so integrated with our lives that it's really hard to see all the places where we are actually using it. In fact, consider the following examples. The Instagram filters that we use so dearly to click creative pictures are based on AI. These filters enhance the quality of our pictures and videos. AI-based facial recognition technology has made banking seamless. All you have to do is open your bank account app and you can quickly access the various banking services through your face authentication. IBM's AI tool, Chef Watson, is helping home cooks decide their meals. It can suggest to you what to cook based on the kind of ingredients that you have at your disposal. Descarate's Labs has created AI-based systems that can help in predicting natural disasters. InfraVision is using AI to detect early signs of lung cancer in their patients. Our brains learn from experiences, right? Well, artificial intelligence learns from data. Typically, AI models are trained to analyze data, find patterns and relations in the data. And they use this knowledge to make predictions and decisions. Unlike us, these AI models do not get tired and hence can go through huge chunks of data at a very rapid speed to equip themselves with the required knowledge quickly. AI has several subfields under its hood and some of the most important ones are machine learning, deep learning and reinforcement learning. Machine learning is the most fascinating subset of AI. Machine learning allows algorithms to learn from their experiences and improve themselves without any explicit programming. Most of the interesting applications of AI belong to this subfield of AI. Deep learning is a more sophisticated kind of machine learning that uses a family of algorithms called neural networks. The original inspiration for the design of neural network algorithms came from our understanding of how a human brain functions. Although this family of algorithms can be used on any kind of data, their rise to fame has been because of their performance on data like images, text, and audio files. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning that learns through trial and error. Similar to how children learn from experiences, algorithms based on reinforcement learning try different actions to solve a problem and determine the most rewarding ones. This iterative process helps machines learn and improve over time to solve complex problems. Reinforcement learning, when coupled with feedback from human trainers, becomes reinforcement learning from human feedback or RLHF. As researchers, 
delved deeper into the capabilities of AI systems to recognize patterns and learn from data, a fascinating question arose. Could AI systems be powerful enough to create something new, something human-like? The answers to all these questions led to generative AI. Generative AI is a cutting-edge technology that allows machines to create and generate content ranging from art to music to images, text and more. Generative AI models are based on deep learning and some models also use reinforcement learning. The use cases of generative AI are quite diverse. It can be used in a wide range of industries, including marketing, education, finance, and human resources, just to name a few. Much like computers change the face of the world in the 20th century, generative AI is going to define the 21st century. The whole world is already buzzing with excitement about this groundbreaking technology. And the major reason for that is the arrival of Chad GPT in November 2022. Be it newsroom discussions, newspaper headlines, tweets or reads, people can't stop raving about the generative AI tools. And for good reason. Imagine almost a billion users have used these generative AI tools all within the span of a few months. Generative AI has the ability to create human-like content in various formats, such as text, images, audio, and video. It surely makes you wonder how generative AI is doing all of this. <laughs>